Turkey has many upsides to offer, as we already found out in our last video about the upsides of moving to the transcontinental country of Turkey. It offers a stunning nature, a warm climate, a rich culture and mouth-watering cuisine, friendly people and low living costs. Nevertheless, as in any country, there are a few drawbacks that you will need to consider in case you are interested in moving to Turkey. Let us begin with the economy and inflation. Even though Turkey is a newly industrialized country with the world's 16th largest economy in the year of 2013, the 2018 Turkish currency and debt crisis had many negative implications on Turkey's economy. Turkey went through a currency crisis that resulted in the Turkish lira plunging in value, high inflation and rising borrowing costs. The crisis was caused by the Turkish economy's excessive current account deficit and foreign currency debt, in combination with increasing authoritarianism, mismanagement and the president's unorthodox ideas about interest rate policy. Since 2018, the Turkish lira has lost about 80% of its value against the US dollar, which resulted in the fact that a big part of the population plunged into poverty. According to a report on the internet, the inflation is so crazy that people barely even have a feel for what their own money is worth because the buying power is plunging so rapidly. Prices are all over the place while businesses try to cope with inflation. Many people got pay rises, but they are still off worse now than before 2018. If you are making money in another currency than Turkish Lira, then your money will bring you much further in Turkey than in your home country. If however your salary is denominated in Turkish Lira, it's a whole other story. So if you are interested in moving to Turkey, then don't be surprised if you find yourself exposed to a chaotic and shaky economy and make sure you either have some money saved up or your income is denominated in another currency. Connected to this drawback is the fact that the unemployment rate is high and local wages are low. The unemployment rate in Turkey is at 11.2% with a youth unemployment rate of 21.3%. However, we have to take these statistics with a grain of salt because of the presence of informal jobs that are not taken into consideration in these statistics. Regarding average wages, I found this statistic which states that the median salary in Istanbul is at around 9530 Turkish lira per month, which is almost 500 US dollars. Compared to other European countries, this salary is relatively low, but on the other hand expenses are also lower. If you are planning to move to another city than Istanbul, then even lower wages should be expected. So also because of the previous drawback, it is advised to either have enough savings accumulated or to have a remote job or another form of foreign income. Another point you have to consider when moving to Turkey is political polarization. While this is a problem in many countries, political polarization in Turkey has increased a lot in recent times. The country is split along pro and anti-government lines, often corresponding to religious conservative versus progressive views. This division of opinions and missing consensus is not good for society. And it may be that you will find people not addressing politics at all due to the different viewpoints they have. Turkey ranks 96th worldwide in the Low Corruption Index. In 2013, Turkey was ranked in the 50s of the list, but during not even 10 years it plunged to position 96, now on par with some Balkan countries like Serbia or Albania. The rise of corruption also played an important role in the downswing of the Turkish economy. People report, quote, immense corruption levels in government and public both. Furthermore, there are some cases of, quote, severe destruction of the environment as long as cash flows into the pockets of the government. Connected to this drawback are authoritarian leanings that can be observed in Turkey. Political competition is essential for a healthy democracy, however the opposition is under pressure. No one knows what the political landscape will look like in a few years from now, but current trends are not promising. It is good to keep this in mind when deciding to move to Turkey. According to research on the internet, foreigners need to be aware of possible fraud. Fraud and embezzlement can happen and as someone who is interested in moving to Turkey from abroad, you just have to think twice and be extra careful. And this is good practice in every country. Especially if you don't know the language and are not familiar with how things work, you need to be cautious. And if you want to invest a lot of money or are dealing with a bigger type of project, then it is advised to contract lawyers. As in many countries worldwide, the abundance of red tape is something that you will need to get used to. High bureaucracy and slow and inefficient government services make life harder. There is no way around this, so it is advised to take things as they come. Another drawback of moving to Turkey is the language barrier. It is estimated that around 17% of Turkey's population is able to communicate in English, which makes it quite hard for you to get around if you don't know Turkish. In Istanbul, the rate of English proficiency is higher, but average English fluency is low compared to other countries. If you are interested in moving to a tourist region at the coast of Turkey, then you will meet more people that are able to speak English, but in any case, 
it helps tremendously to acquire some Turkish skills. It also shows that you are interested in integrating into Turkish society. And it also helps you to connect with locals. Turkey has a distinct and strong culture, very rich in local traditions. It can happen that expats experience a culture shock when they move to Turkey from their home country. On the flip side, Turkish people are very welcoming and open, which makes it easier for you to settle down. And in almost every big city of Turkey, there is a strong expat community present, which may help you in the first few months of living in Turkey. Another point to consider is the following. If you are moving from a small town or city to the metropolis of Istanbul, then keep the city's huge dimensions, fast pace of life and metropolitan vibe in mind. In Turkey, you can live a vibrant big city life or a laid back life in peaceful nature. So you have to choose what fits you best and then you'll be just fine. Healthcare access and quality varies a lot across the country. In the less developed parts of Turkey, public healthcare quality and accessibility may not be as good. If you are interested in moving to a rural area, you should first inform yourself about the standard of healthcare in the area you are interested in. If you however are planning to move to one of Turkey's big cities, then this drawback does not affect you much. In my video about the upsides of moving to Turkey, I mentioned the fact that there are many excellent international schools where kids can receive a good education. However, space is limited. If you are thinking of sending your kids to an international school, then make sure to secure a spot as soon as possible. As always, the last downside is a bit of a fun fact. Expect to gain some weight when moving to Turkey. Turkey's cuisine is diverse and offers many delicious meals that you probably never even have heard of. Eating out is relatively inexpensive and expats value all the culinary experiences that Turkish cuisine has to offer. So don't be afraid to gain some extra few kilos after moving to Turkey and instead enjoy the adventure of experiencing all the different tastes Turkey has to offer. Did I forget a downside? Then please let me know down in the comments. As always, all sources are linked in the description below.